Ladies and gentlemen, the masses have spoken, and they have said... So, this is not a Naya deck. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to Bad Magic with the citrus fruit that has a prison number for trying to smuggle in exotic cheese. It's me, it's Moldy Kumquat, and today... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kumquat Penitentiary. We're going to prison with blue-white control. Now, how is this prison, Moldy? Well, because we're taking you out to the streets at high noon, and you are either going to lose this duel or we are going to lock you up. High noon. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. This is... I, this card I can't I can't say enough of. I love it. And then we got Jen Kataxis with which counters the first instant artifact or sorcery that your opponent tries to play. Lockdown. Archangel the Ties makes them pay one for each time they want to attack with a creature, and this really shows against aggressive decks. Hallbreaker Horror, bounce it back to your hand. Yeah, I want to draw some cards with the deuce. I want to play, you know, get lost on one of your guys, but oh, that guy's going back up into your hand. Depopulate, Sunfall, Farewell. We are locking it down. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get right into the game, but first, if you have not had a chance to do so, please subscribe to the channel. It would be a great big help it's free and it only takes a second if you enjoy these videos make sure you're hitting that like button it also tells youtube to uh send it out there to others so they can enjoy it as well now the time for talking is over the time to lock it down and come quite down is now Bastard, boy, he's fooling. He's fooling them. Look at this, right off the bat. Huh? I can cast everything, even though it's a two-lander. Right off the bat, I'm liking this. We get that high noon down. Next turn, yes sir. Yes sir. Look at this. Look at this shark lover. Yes sir. High noon is coming down. Let's go. Got another land. We can deduce. If we want to. Yes, sir. Pass the turn. We're not playing nothing on our turn, no. It's not what we're about. We're just here to lock things down. We'll just pass the turn again. <clears throat> Draw our second card. <laughs> it is also a land. He keeps looking at High Noon. He doesn't know. He's like, I don't know what this card does. But I don't like it. Pass the turn. Locking it down, boys. Welcome to the Kumquat Penitentiary. Yeah, we're just, um, passing the turn. Yeah, that's all we're doing. Got it locked down. 
He doesn't like that. He does not like that at all. Is that a triggered ability? That's fine. That is fine. This is the turn. He has to... He has to do what he can this turn. But he's probably thinking to himself, I'm just going to, to counter, alright? It's not the way this is going to work, Bastard. It sure is not the way this is going to work. Because I've got two. I've got two high noons in my hand. You don't know that. You don't know that I have two high noons in my hand. Let's see if he can do it again. There it is, bastard. I had two in my hand. Now you may have another counter spell, but so do I. So do I. That's unless it's a uh, guy plays two, right? Come on. Come on. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything that turn. What are we talking about here? Um... Let's see here. I think that's fine. I think we'll pass the turn. We will pass the turn. the one card you're playing this turn what is what is your one play bastard hmm well um i think we'll bring down the tide binder now So I had to do it first. That was that was bad on me. That was bad on me. I had to let him it come down and then the ability triggers. All right. We are going to go ahead and start hitting with the anchorage if we can. What's it got? No, you're going to have to do another one, but you can't because you can only play one spell per turn. You're taking two. You are taking two, my friend. Sure.
Okay. Okie dokie. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. He knew it. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I won't have enough to get lost. I'm just going to pass the turn and um, this is a three, four. I just kind of want to see what he does here. If he plays as Restless Reef, I may just get lost. And take four. counter it. Is that what you expected, Bastard, was to counter whatever I did? I hope so. I hope you don't have a spot removal. I'm hoping you don't have a spot removal. He doesn't. Did you see how quickly that went through? He does not have spot removal. He does have spot removal. But you can only cast one. What? Wow, it's a channeled ability. Get out of here, my guy. That is amazing. need a sunfall but as soon as he plays that restless reef this turn coming up we're on that get lost okay intimidation campaign interesting very interesting I'm not gonna say I, I don't like I, I don't not like it Want me to play that restless reef though? Here it comes. Yes, yes. Now, now there we go. You can't play another spell, my guy, bastardo. You can't. You just can't. You played your intimidation campaign. That is your turn. This is this is getting getting to be something. This is getting to be something. back 
There we go. Does he have a counter? Kind of hurt what I was planning on doing. Sure. All right, bastard. Play your intimidation campaign. He's doing one to me, but. But, as long as you're not uh, targeting old Ezra, I can use his ability for lifelink. And that one peck of turn is not going to cut it, my friend. This has been the grindiest. Grindiest of first games. The grindiest of first games. Taxes and my Archangel of Ties. Dang, gone, boy. There's, there's nothing you can do. Like you've already played your card for the turn, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, when he brings out that land, when he brings out that land, we bring down Miss America. He's going to try to play him intimidation campaign again as his card. You'll see. You will see. He's, his unlicensed hearse is pretty big too but you know what I am not worried about it at all this restless reef only thing I'm concerned with only thing that I am concerned with there's the intimidation campaign 
so we know that he's not playing anything else this turn. Can't do it. Unless it's a channeled ability. Can't do it. That means my Wandering Emperor is safe. That means my Ezrum is safe. That means Bastardo is locked in prison. Locked in prison. This is a 20 minute game. This is one video. Locked in prison. And likely gone. Nope, he's still going. He is still going. Here comes a scoop. Tell you right now. Scoop incoming. can't do anything you have no you have no time you cannot do a darned thing you cannot do a darned thing bastarded you played your one spell for the turn it's high noon Oh, look at that. Is he trying to keep me from gaining the life? Okay. Okay. Didn't care about that life anyway. Did not care one a bit. Got 25 cards left in my hand. Or in my deck. I've got the Ezrim Agency Chief about to finish this off. Fast Let's go. Prison time. Looky here. Ooh, and an Archangel of Ties. Let's keep it just to see what happens. We are going to need some uh, big help from the land department up in that deck. We'll need some big help from the land department. But as I see it, this looks good. Going first, we got high noon, we got no more lies. I'll just take a land each turn, honestly. I like his uh, sleeves. I've got this one as well. Okay. So he's in the teamer collars. I am not getting those lands. Still not getting those lands. Wow. Um I'm gonna allow it. Oof. Lord have mercy. Lord. Sweet Lord. Have mercy. Oh, it's a land. It is a land. Emery Deluge. Um... I'm going to actually kill that so he can't do it again. I'm struggling with the lands here. He's needing to draw cards. That's good.
<sighs> Volunteer. Oh, there we go. Proof. He's already used two ill-timed explosions, so I don't think this deck plays any more than that. He's trying to figure it out. Okay. All right. All that life gain. Okie dokie. I would like to have a would like to have a counter. really would like to have a counter, honestly. Just gonna play it like that, and we'll flash in the Hall Breaker. That's all you can do this turn. So, he can't play Nissa this turn, so he's not going to want to bust his Aftermath Analyst, because I think he's got all his lands. So now he has to bust it, and he's going to gain a bunch of life, but he shouldn't have everything. He shouldn't really get any lands out of it, just life. And that means he's not going to be able to initiate it under Nissa, which is what he would uh, want to do. And I 
feel like I'm in good shape. Maybe. Yeah, because he can't play Virtue of Strength and then play World Souls Rage. He can't play Nissa and then play World Souls Rage. So, like, the High Noon is breaking him right now. He is locked down in the prison. volunteer think about it my boy think about it hmm okay okay god if archangel of ties that had lifelink could you imagine that card would be so good That's how he has to play it because he doesn't have the ability to play one at a time. Do you think he's got a third World Souls Rage in his hand? The answer is no. The answer is no. And yes, he's got all this life gain coming, but he can only do one thing per turn. My Hallbreaker Horror is going to keep things going back to his hand. He's not going to have what he needs. Eventually, eventually, he's going to pitter out. And I think that time is coming right now. I think his pittering out is coming. There's no way he has another World Souls Rage in there. No way. No chance these two cards. See? Bam! Let's go! Prison, baby. This looks good. Be honest, anytime I see a high noon, I'm happy. Especially seeing a green ramp deck. Ooh. Got the Wandering Emperor in hand. Got four lands. Got my finishers. turn pass the turn here this way we can emperor this turn honestly we kind of I kind of feel like we can take it Let's just do it. Yeah, I mean, it's that's not a big deal. Really, really, I'd like to see some land here. Um. Let me think. I 
I'm just gonna pass the turn. Um, and I'm gonna bring Tidebinder in as a blocker here. Or let's pass actually. wipe it Freaking good right there. Probably should have waited. Let him do all this and get, you know, because I can take some damage. I don't have to be sitting at 19. I could take some damage. So I should have just let him attack, took him that hit. He would have got this, this. He would have brought this out. This would have triggered. Whatever. But I'd have taken eight. What was the other one? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'd have taken eleven. So that'd have put me at eight. That'd have been a lot. But he can only play one a turn, so it's not like he's got a lot of burst. I don't know. There's a lot to think about on turns like that. Ooh, okay. That hurts. That could be rough. Is he, is he going to target my Ezrin? Please do. Minus and target my Ezrin. I would love that. That's not what I asked you to do. I said please target my Ezrin. He's struggling. Land. That is that is exactly what I wanted. I have to take it to have to bring her down I really uh, I think I think uh, I don't know if it would have mattered but I, I think that I should have waited on the sunfall that's what I think I should have done I should have waited on the sunfall because then I wouldn't be dealing with these two I would just be dealing with him turn if he doesn't target my Ezrim then I can bring down the Hallbreaker Horror and block the 5-5 five five and take 11 really be interested in what he does here alright 
That's fine. He was fine with that instead of my high noon. I'll take eight. That's actually a, a lot better. That is a lot better. See, he can't do anything anyway. Wow. back here. I think I'm going to hold back. Beth Ezra. I think I'm going to hold back with old Ezra. I think that was the play right there. That is the play that won us the game right there. It's now in lockdown. He now gets one, one card a turn. And my hall breaker is just gonna keep popping these little these little guys back into his hand. That's all. Hall breaker's about to do you dirty. Unless stuff like that happens. Never you mind. Hallbreaker ain't doing nothing. Play another high noon. He knew. He knew it was over. He knew it was over. Let's go. May be long. They may be grindy. But let's win, baby. Let's win. Now this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. So he's obviously playing mono red with slingshot, going for one big, big turn. So I'm going to hold back the fading hope. Maybe not. We're going to actually play the fading hope right now. Um. Yeah, I'm going to send that to the bottom. Wandering Emperor, not a big fan right now. Okay. Yep, that's kind of what it, what is expected. All right, so not enjoying our current predicament here. Let's kind of see what he does. I honestly want to draw two. But, you know, we can... Uh, 
Okay, so I'll just take it and draw two. Discard a card. Uh, I'll have to be the hall breaker, I think. I'm never going to be able to play that. That's a good freaking draw right there. That is a good freaking draw right there. Both of this. Now we can. Now we've got answers. Now we can start thinking about stabilizing. Now we can think about stabilizing. Can't really play the Aganjo. I can, however, do this. And play the Archangel of Tithes. Give her a plus one, plus one. Now I've got a blocker, and he has to pay to attack. So he can attack with both of these, but it's going to cost him two mana. Not leaving him with a lot of pump-up ability. attack if he casts another lightning bolt so now he can't attack at all no you can't you can't attack Yes, read the card, Xerxes. You have no mana. Read the card. Read the card, Xerxes. You have no mana, good sir. You have no mana. Read the card. I'm going to keep pumping it the Archangel up because now we have answers now we have answers I'd really like to get a high noon down because once I get a high noon down it's like he, he's got nothing he's reading it he's like I don't uh, there's so much text on that card I don't know I don't know all the text on that card I don't know <laughs> let's go mono red you can play your you can play your tricks. Which one is getting targeted? Hold on a second. I need to see uh, resolve, resolve, resolve. Resolve. Okay. So what else? You can attack with three, but then you can't cast anything. You've really got to think about this, Xerxes. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Now that I know what you are doing, we will just go ahead and wipe your board. Looks freaking good to me. Looks freaking good to me. Yes, I lost my emperor, but that's okay. Xerxes done more thinking in this game than he has ever done. 
playing Magic the Gathering. In fact, I would be inclined to say that his brain is probably fried. Probably, probably fried. I would say most definitely fried. Alright, so you can attack if you'd like. What's he going to do? He's... Uh, <laughs> Mono red, you know, they just... I don't, you know, I just, it takes, it takes a certain type of person. It takes a certain type of person. Let's give him a little heads up that, you know, time's a ticking. Cersei. Nah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's just going to rope now because what else is Mono Red going to do? What else is old Mono Red going to do? Not freaking much. Not much. Just gonna rope me. There. I'm gonna play the land so I can play the Tide Binder if needed. I don't feel like the need is going to be there, but. You know. It's like they see I, they see I'm at 10. It's like, oh no. See I'm at 10. And they can't help themselves. They cannot help themselves. They must keep going, but it's like the brain has been so destroyed that every single move he makes has been slow-mo. First we gave them the TikTok, then we looked for them. Now they're clearly not here. Next we just scream. Because <laughs> it's like... It's like the this is one of those uh, moments where you feel like you uh, you're talking to a wall, you know. You know when you're talking to that type of person that uh, it's just the words are coming out of your mouth, but they're just not uh, quite getting it. It's kind of what this feels like. I've got the get lost now. So we're just going to do it this way. We're just going to go ahead and do it this way. Keep pecking at him. Two, three, four damage at a time. However much I can get this thing up to with maps. 
And then we have two lands here to uh, get lost if he uh, manages to, you know, break through this prison. I don't even have the high noon out. If I had the high noon out, it wouldn't even matter because he only gets one card a turn. But he's, he's going to get frustrated is what's going to happen. Eventually, he's going to get frustrated and he's going to make a stupid, stupid mistake. Um... Yeah. And we'll just keep on keeping on. Yeah, we'll get us another Emperor. Mono Red will keep on keep on keeping on himself. He'll just keep on keeping on himself. I'm too close to zero. He's got half my life gone. He just can't see the writing on the wall. It's in English, German, Japanese, ancient Egyptian, Sumerian. Sanskrit. Ancient Mayan writings. It is translated in every known language to have ever existed. And it says, Xerxes, your game is over. Move on to the next one. But it doesn't matter does not matter what's he doing here okay just we'll just kill it we'll just go ahead and kill it no big deal no big deal not a big deal at all he's going for a big one He really wants to kill my Archangel of Tithes. I'll let him. I will let him. You know that I have the Emperor sitting right there you see it I will keep it just in case I end up some falling it'll give me a, an extra extra little token or an extra little um, plus one plus one he's still coming he doesn't even it's like no big deal to him. It's no big deal. He sees what's in my hand, but his brain just just goes, "Oh, my brain doesn't work. I can't see that you clearly have the answer to this." No. No, he doesn't see. Does not see a darned thing. Doesn't see a darned thing. I did actually missed lethal quite, uh, quite clearly missed lethal. If I'd have just used my other uh, anchorage, I got too hung up on the fact that he's just so beat. <laughs> I got so hung up on the fact that he is so, so beat.
Oh, bad. Doesn't even matter. Does not even matter. He's stuck in until the end. And it never mattered. Never mattered. Get D leaded mono red. Let's go. Lockdown time. Um no. Uh, we're on the play. Uh so we really need to be better on the play. We need a better, quicker hand. Yeah, I can't. I won't be doing anything other than deducing. Ah, uh, this is a little better. A little better. A lot better, maybe. It's a good turn four. Oh yeah, and we got to land. Heck yeah, heckin' right. Uh, I'm actually going to do this. Um, so he can't bring that back. Yeah, see? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, wow. I was just thinking about that. Wondering why it is that I have not seen that card. Honestly, no more lies becomes completely irrelevant later on in the game. So, his ramp can't have it. And now we're in a position to where we can even interrupt her and put him back another turn, you know. Um, gives us this turn it's chill see and like right now he would be so probably have a, a couple dinosaurs down for sure a couple big things down but he's been trying to ramp and we're already set to where we can depopulate just put him off that much That's fine. I mean, he's not a big deal. Just drawing now. Just drawing. That is all. Boink. 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 Just, this makes me want a, a, a mono white tithe deck. There's a big daddy. There's a big daddy. He can attack. Ooh, now they'd have to tap two per. How'd I just pass the turn? I'm just gonna pass the turn. We've got the Emperor.
Got the Emperor. I've never ever seen anybody play that card. Never seen anyone play that card. I would like to not use the Depopulates, honestly. Huh. No, we'll let it go. Yeah, because he <laughs> has to to be able to... He can't. He can't attack with all of these. You can't attack with all of those. You gotta read the card right here. You can attack with one creature. There you go. That's all you get. That's all you get. And now he dies. Not only does he die... He gets ex exiled. Oh, ho, ho. How about that? Um, I think I'll just mitigate as much as I can. the other Archangel of Tithes and he has to pay two per creature now two per creature I'm pretty sure that stacks pretty darn sure that stacks Pretty darn sure that stacks. So if he wants to play this, or if he wants to play another creature, okay, so now he can attack with one. And I can double block. See, I guarantee he tries to attack with both. No. Mm -mm. No, 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 Man of War. Because I have two down. And since I have two, you can still only attack with one. I mean... I kind of want to do this as mono-white. I want to I want to build this deck as mono white where it's just complete control. I think I'm going to have to do that. I'm just going to pass the turn. Cuz why? Why attack? We've got a, a counter we want to do, so let's see, how much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can create a token that's a copy of the tithes, and they'll take three mana for him to attack. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. If he activates this ridge line, which I, I have a feeling he's not there. Oh, there he is. If he activates this ridge line, I'm I'm creating a token and drawing two cards. 
He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. Really want to draw two cards. I'm on a. I'm on draw two cards. Yeah, don't need the depopulates anymore. It's over. It's over. He's about to be top decking. The Archangel of the Ties. Was unmatched. Unmatched. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a moment to remember Manowar. He just needed to read the cards, that's all. But now he's gone. Embarrassed. A shell of a man. And he's not actually gone, is he? I will deduce. And I'm going to attack. Because I don't need to keep him from attacking now. He doesn't have anything left. Yeah, that's fine. see what he does. Nothing. Okay. He just can't even help himself. Can't help himself. It's been, it's been over. This game has been over for so long. Just insult to injury. Right? We'll just play the third one. Man of War. My friend. It's over. Let's go. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed those games. You know I enjoyed playing them. If you stuck around to the end, I would greatly appreciate you. It is a really big help to the channel. If you want to watch any of my other videos, make sure you're checking out one of these two here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It is easy and free. Until next time, I thank you all. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and take care.